how are you with directors? Are they, you know, different actors and actresses have different relationships with directors. What do you think is the ideal relationship between an actress and a director? Well, that you can talk to them, you know. I mean, I never really had any problem with Tony except, you know, <laughs> somersaulting down the stairs. And he was marvelous with uh, when we did Tamburlaine because Xenocrity dies. And he, um, he had me come down to uh, UC one night by myself and uh, had me lean up against the ladder and went into great detail about being with a friend of his who was dying and spent about an hour, an hour and a half. And he, you know, just said uh, that this is what was going through his mind at the time and, and uh, um, this is how it was. And <laughs> the most difficult thing was that I had to lie there with the light from the balcony in my eyes, trying not to breathe for about five minutes while Tony Quayle did his big speech. In theory, you're being dead by that. Yeah, and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. And was Tony Guthrie as charismatic as people say? Well, I thought I thought he was. I could see that he would be infuriating too, you know. But. Um, And he was, he was, um, for, exa for example, there were two or three actors, you know, who had a shtick that they did. And Tony would laugh, and of course they just did more. And that seemed to me to be <laughs> uh, not working too well, you know. Right, right. But... Uh, Otherwise, and did you feel the difference between a, 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 a charismatic or interesting director like Tony Guthrie and another director who might not have the vision or might not have the energy? Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I found um, Michael Langham very difficult. In what way? Well, he couldn't do anything right, and, and there was the added problem. that it was my brothers who originally hired him, and he went from there to Stratford. And I think he resented that very much. I mean, he, he told um, uh, he told uh, my brothers that the uh, only people who could act in the company at all were uh, Douglas Campbell and Amelia Hall and his wife Helen Burns and that the rest of us had no business being on the bloody stage. This is in reference to the Crest Theatre? Yes. So Donald and Murray hired Michael Langham from Britain? Yeah. They'd seen him in Britain and brought him over? I think they knew about him through Tony. Yeah. Right. And so Michael Langham, having worked with you all at the Crest, then said this? Yes. So where does that take you? Well, as I say, I, I found it difficult to to, right. to work with him. And also, Donald, um, that year, was doing um, Mark Antony uh, in Julius Caesar. At Stratford. At Stratford, which Michael was directing. So if and Michael didn't think he could act, why did he have him as Mark Antony? Well, because I think Tony had cast it. Oh, I see. And um, anyway, he was giving Donald a hell of a time. And um, so uh, Donald finally uh, called 
Tony and said, I really have to talk to you because uh, I'm getting the feeling that I shouldn't be doing this. So uh, he said, well, come over and have a drink. So the two of us went over. And I don't know whether there was anybody there except Tony and Judy. Anyway, the conversation went on for considerable time. Nothing said about the production. And uh, just as we were going out the door, Tony said to Donald, do you think you can do it, Davis? And uh, Donald said, yes, I, of course I think I can do it. And he said, then do it. And that was that. It is curious because it's an age-old problem in the theater. What you do in the chemistry does not work, yeah. you know, between for whatever personal right. or, or impersonal reasons. Right. And how do you deal with that? Uh, revolt, rebellion, acquiescence, what yeah. do you do? And so uh, Bill Needles as Petruchio, what was that like? Oh, well, it was, um, it was a sort of more subdued Petruchio. And I mean, he was wearing glasses and a cowboy hat. You've seen the pictures, I'm sure. Um, and with, with um, me, he wanted um, Catherine to be the, um, that Bianca was, um, was really daddy's favorite. And that the reason that, that um, Catherine was um, uh, difficult was that she was feeling neglected and out of sorts, you know. Uh, so that neither of us were as um, uh, volatile as those characters are usually played, I think. Oh, I see. Okay, right. 